Respiratory viruses may not be thought of as deadly, but in the U.S., they cause hospitalization and death in thousands of people each year. In the U.S., influenza has killed up to 80,000 people and hospitalized up to 930,000 per year. And parainfluenza, also known as the croup, causes hospitalization and death in thousands of immunocompromised patients annually. Once these highly contagious viruses enter the human airway, they attach to receptors found on the surface of airway epithelial cells, enter the cells, and hijack their genetic machinery to make more virus. Although influenza, parainfluenza, metanumovirus, and several other sialic acid-dependent viruses are all different viruses, they do have one important thing in common. They all attach themselves to the same receptors on epithelial cells. These receptors are called sialic acid receptors, and without them, these viruses could not enter the cells and replicate. Currently, there are no approved drugs to treat parainfluenza, metanumovirus, or any of the other sialic acid-dependent respiratory viruses except influenza. There are two effective classes of approved drugs to treat influenza, and those are neuraminidase inhibitors, which have been around for about 20 years, and endonuclease inhibitors, which were first approved in the U.S. in 2018. Both classes of drugs work by specifically targeting the flu virus. That approach poses two problems. One, these drugs are not broad spectrum in that they cannot treat other respiratory viruses. And two, the flu virus has an uncanny ability to mutate to evade drugs that target it. That's why neuraminidase resistant strains of flu are widespread, and research indicates that endonuclease resistant strains emerge quickly. Anson has developed an antiviral called DOS-181, which solves both of those problems by approaching them in a very different and innovative way. Unlike earlier drugs, DOS-181 doesn't target the virus. Instead, it targets sialic acid. In other words, it targets the host rather than the virus. DOS-181 is a recumbent fusion protein that has an enzyme component combined with an anchoring component. The enzyme component, called sialidase, clips sialic acid receptors, and the anchoring component is a peptide that binds to the surface of airway epithelial cells. DOS-181 is delivered to the airway through mist, and once inside the airway, the anchoring component of DOS-181 attaches it to the surface of epithelial cells, while the sialidase component eliminates sialic acid receptors. Without a sufficient amount of sialic acids on the surface of the epithelial cells, sialic acid-dependent viruses such as influenza, parainfluenza, metanumovirus, and enterovirus 68 are unable to bind to respiratory cells and infect them. In this way, DOS-181 may become a broad-spectrum therapy capable of treating all respiratory viruses that use sialic acid as their receptors, even very deadly strains of virus such as the avian flu. Anson Biopharma is conducting a phase 3 trial in hospitalized patients with weakened immune systems who are infected with parainfluenza. These patients represent the most vulnerable group of people at risk of mortality from this potentially deadly respiratory infection.